for me, what I what I want to say is is our hero Sydney in the film is this uh, this guy, this older man that wants to protect his house and not let anyone in. And once he lets that kid in, uh, the kid brings change to his life. Uh, in a way, that's what I want to say uh, about you know once you let the person in to your life and really get to know him and see what he can do, uh, you'll change your point of view on that person. But you gotta let them in. I love that message. That's awesome. Thank you. And I think that goes across the board in lots of different things, lots of ways in our lives, and you know, uh, issues on equality, sexual equality, and, yeah. uh, and immigration as well. I think that's a beautiful message. Very, very cool. <coughs> you won me over with that one. <laughs> I, I Before, on that. I don't I have anything to do with it. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, very awesome. Were you trying to understand that experience differently to the little boy's journey? I, I, I was trying to understand more the, the American side of it, mm -hmm. because I'm, you know, I, very pro as a Mexican, you know, of course you are pro like Mexican rights and immigrant rights, but uh, I was more intrigued on understanding the other point of view of the conservative American uh, point of view of not letting people into your country and into and protecting your country and protecting the border and protecting your property, which is something that I didn't understand before this. And after all the people we talked about, uh, that was for me the most interesting part of that research, uh, to try to understand that point of view, whether we agree or not with it, you know, but, uh, but at least uh, getting in that point of view, and that's what I wanted the audience to also connect to a character that has that, that says, I protect my house, I protect my borders. 